Hello guys, welcome to Nick Dreadlocks and Lifestyle. To our recurring subscribers, thank you so much for always supporting us. To those who are new to this channel, feel welcome. Kindly please consider subscribing, liking, leaving a comment, and kindly consider turning on your notification bell so that every time we upload a new video, you can be notified. Today we are going to try a new recipe of cooking mandazi. That is, we are going to use fermented milk. That is mala. So today it's an easy recipe to learn. You can try it at your house. The ingredients are readily available in in our local markets. And welcome. Let's jump to our recipe. For this recipe, you're going to need 2.5 cups of self raising flour, one cup of mala, a third a cup of sugar, one teaspoon of masala, a half a cup of milk, and one teaspoon of margarine. In a bowl, mix the flour, sugar, and tea masala, and then rub in the Rub in the margarine until no junks of it are visible. Add in the mala and mix. Mix with the milk and combine to form a sticky dough. Yes, just combine everything together and try and get a sticky dough. Just like what I'm doing. That cup measures, uh, it's a half a cup, so our mala is one cup. That's why I've put two of them to make one cup, which is 250 ml. So kneel and combine the ingredients pro properly. And transfer this dough to your clean surface. Make sure the surface is very clean because this is food you're going to eat and no one wants to eat food that is dirty. So try kneeling for at least 10 minutes until the dough is smooth and less sticky. So that is what I'm trying to do. Just follow the simple steps and you will come to an amazing results of mandazi with mala. Continue kneading your flour. After that, roll out the dough to a half an inch thickness, then cut them to your desired shapes and sizes. You don't have to use my shapes and sizes. You can use your desired shapes. Roll out your flour. doesn't have to be circular. Don't struggle so much to get a circular shape. Just roll out and try and cut them into your desired shapes. I wanted those shapes for mandazi, my mandazi. That's why you can see me cutting them in with that style so just try you on 
there are people that use cups to get shapes but mine will be that way and since we splitted this flour into two take the other half roll it out and still cut them into your desired shape like if you look at my dough it isn't circular because i'm not trying to get a circular shape just want to roll it out And if you're good at getting circular shapes, it's still okay. Tad them. And kindly please remember to dust your surface so that they don't get sticky when you want to put them into the oil. Cutting the shapes makes it easier for you to deep fry them at once. So on this I have a kitchen arc that is to test my oil I use the rolling pin. If it doesn't bo bubble that means the oil is not ready. If it bubbles the oil is ready. We can now start deep frying our mandazi. Deep fry them on medium heat until they are golden brown. If you put on a very high heat, they'll get burned or you'll end up having uncooked mandazi and they will be black outside and inside they are uncooked. So be careful on that. Just use medium heat so that you can have a golden brown color on your mandazi and they will be well cooked inside. Yes, we are getting the golden brown color. There you go. Those ones are my mandazi with fermented milk mala they look golden brown if you look at them and they are very appealing to the eyes and very yummy so you can take them with either tea or juice or you can just eat them without anything or even a glass of milk you can still use that now those ones are our mandazi, they are golden brown and it's an easy recipe, it doesn't take lots of time. So try it and keep here for more recipes. If you look at that one, it is well cooked inside. So keep here, let me know what you want us to try next time and thank you so much for watching. See you next time and remember to subscribe, like and leave a comment.